Hello everyone and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Katie with John Henry's and today I'm here to talk to you about our New York strip steaks. If you're familiar with our farm, you know that our meats are leaner than most because our cows enjoy a happy and active life out on our farm. They spend their days outside in the sunshine eating the lush pasture. The way the cattle are raised presents itself in the flavor and quality of the meat, which is something our loyal customers enjoy. The New York strip steak is lightly marbled, tender and flavorful and perfect for grilling. Cut from the short loin, this part of the muscle does very little work, so it's tender and lean, though not as tender as the filet mignon or beef tenderloin. The New York strip, like the ribeye steak, is sometimes referred to as the Delmonico steak, which was made famous in New York. When the New York strip steak is still attached to the bone, it's referred to as a T-bone steak. When the bone and the small portion of tenderloin is still attached, it's known as a porterhouse steak. Our butchers cut each steak by hand. Typically, all of our steaks are cut at one inch thick, but we welcome special orders as well. Some of our customers prefer their New York strip steaks cut at two inches and others prefer three quarters of an inch. It's all about personal preference and we're here to provide you with a delicious grass-fed steak at your favorite thickness. Preparing and cooking grass-fed meats is an art form, and it definitely has a learning curve, so I recommend a good meat thermometer to make sure you do not overcook it. I prefer a warm pink center, so I usually cook my steak to medium. Because the meat continues to cook after removing it from the heat, I recommend removing it from the grill at 140 degrees. I hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for supporting our farm. We're so glad that you found our channel. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see more awesome recipes, click the video below.